hello and welcome to the lecture so in the previous lecture we created a button that opens the model dialog and that's empty now we don't have any components inside so let's create a component which is the form region and some page items so we have to create a region right that would be a form so before that i will explain what uh, query i'm gonna use here so this is the stores table which you have installed as a data set and this would fetch me the store id and store name and the physical address which i want to see like this and this is the output from this result so i'm gonna use this as a form with a store id being the variable one that will be trying to you know get the information we will be seeing that so this we will create the region first and i'll give these name as you know store details and this will be a form region so this is the form and we will select as sql curry and we will paste it here and let's validate this and this is fine so three page items are created the store id store name and the physical address and the store id is our primary key and that would be fetching based on this process side so we have to make this as a primary key under the source and we will save it now we have saved it and let us just you know open this model and we'll see an empty form here so basically we want to pass an id here that would fetch me the store name and the physical address so it's like uh, if i want to get the store id one i would be getting only the first online and the physical address is not there but for the other store name we have so we'll take the store name three for an example and we are gonna pass to the parent page so this is how the data transfer through model dialog happens and here inside this uh, thing we have the redirection where we can define the page here so this we have to set the value so i'm gonna set the target to the source sorry store id i'm gonna set this and we have to pass the store id to some static value here so i'm gonna use three and here see the change here and now if i try to open i'm gonna see the information for that thing so this is how we are gonna get it so even this can be used as a page item as well even if you want to use it as a page item you can use it so if we create a you know page item here in this region so this would be store id maybe and i will keep with this as the source to st static and this would be three and then we will try to use this page item over this redirection so if i select the store id it would be reflected here we have to refresh the page because we have a page item and this would open this thing so this is what the model dialog does so whatever the value is set in this we will get the information if i try to set to you know to two so if i try to set this and if i refresh again so for two we have the the second one here so we got the three as seattle now we'll get the san francisco so that is what so this is how we are passing the data through model dialog not only one we can pass many items as well through that button and this is a thing you know we can use it this will take me the value which is set on the page item and it's good but there are cases where we have to use it as a dynamic way this will work on only the static one and if you want to make the other information to visible it 
you have to use another way because this kind of setting and opening a model dialog is a static method and this thing right so if i try to keep three i would be expecting to take that page item to three and come here but it's coming to only why because we are not gonna check with this you know there's no javascript happening it's just a definition that would take this as a you know this variable as a substitution we will have only the static ones which are defined in the pre-rendering of the page it's not what it's on the client so that's the thing so this will take only the session value that's passed here so it would be two every time because we are setting that to two as the store id so if i try another any value it won't show me that that's not just the thing so this is a major disadvantage of this using this method if you want to see the model dialog in a very functional way either we have to set to the session and open and we should not use this way there is another method that's through ps sql and those things we will see more about the dynamic way of passing to the model dialog in the next lecture